Hey guys, here's another video. Uh, today I have uh, in front of me here the Nexus 7. I'm going to be doing a tutorial as to how to go about and unrooting the device uh, just in case you wanted to return to factory settings uh, in case you're having any issues uh, with the rooted ROM that you might have installed and you don't know how to you know get back to factory state just in case you know just to fix the problems another way to you know another reason why you'd want to unroot is you know if you want to sell the device or if you just want to go back to you know stock for whatever reason that might be but uh, uh, this is uh, the WUG fresh uh, root method it is a one click uh, method. Uh, I find it to be the most reliable uh, and the most, uh, I guess, I guess the easiest one to use. Uh, it's just one click, just like the name says it, uh, and it'll walk you through everything. It's really, really easy. I've used it time and time again, and it never fails. Uh, I've used it on my Galaxy Nexus, uh, and never failed then. So I'm gonna show you guys how to go do that. Um, first of all, go ahead and head uh, to the link on the description bar and uh, click. Uh, what you want to do is once you get to the, the uh, this page here, you'll go to the uh, download section here, uh, NRT 1.6.1. Uh, download that. Once you get that downloaded, uh, it'll show up on your desktop or wherever it is that you download it. This is what you'll have here. It'll actually uh, you'll get the I'm sorry you'll get the download link. Uh, you'll get the download file. Click on that. It will extract and it'll bring this up for you. Uh, once you have this Nexus root uh, root tool toolkit on your desktop. All you uh, from here, it's a piece of cake. All you have to do is uh, just click on that. So here's the uh, root next uh, Nexus root toolkit 1.6.1 uh, by Wug Fresh. All right, guys. So before proceeding here, you want to make sure that you have the U uh, USB drivers installed properly. Um, make sure that uh, your Nexus 7 is on USB debugging. If you don't already know how to do that, I uh, will show you here. Make sure you grab your tablet. Uh, Go to settings up here. Uh, as you can see, at the top left corner, I already have USB debugging. But if you don't know how to do that, go to developer options down at the bottom. Click on that, and go ahead and enable USB debugging. Uh, once you have that enabled, let me focus in here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So that is USB debugging there. Go ahead and check that off, and go back to your home screen. Just let it sit here for a little bit. Um, the rest will be done on the uh, computer itself. So once you've done that, you've installed the USB drivers, uh, go ahead and um, check off a couple options here. What you want to do is go back to stock. Uh, the next thing is you want to flash stock and unroot. Uh, what is your current status is something that I will ask you. You want to make sure that it's, if you are a soft brick, meaning you're boot looping, back and forth, they won't actually, your device won't actually turn on, then you want to click on that option. My device is perfectly normal. You know, it's uh, I'm just doing this video for the sake of you know for some of you guys that might have an issue. Uh, so I'm gonna click the bottom option, which is device is on and normal. Uh, once you've done that, go ahead and click on flash stock and unroot. Uh, it'll ask you uh, what type of uh, firmware you want to download. I went with Android 4.1. I'm sorry, 4.2.0, which is I've already done that. It's already downloading here in the background. Uh, I'm already at 30%. I'm going to go ahead and forward the video here a little bit. Alright guys, so once your file has finished downloading, it, it'll do its thing. It'll extract factory image package. Please be patient. Uh, so, click OK. And the rest will be done here on this. Let me put that on the right here so you guys can see, it. You guys can see what's going on. So it looks like it already finished. Everything's OK. And let me see. So it's flashing recovery. Give it a second to flash all right so while that's going on this is what you should see on your tablet there it is do not touch anything do not touch the power button do not touch anything so here is my nexus 7 it's booting back up it should be back to uh, factory state the only thing it does have is uh, pretty much everything uh, we're gonna relock the bootloader as soon as we get back up and run it Alright guys, so here we go. Uh, we got the welcome screen. We're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and script out through everything here, uh, just so you guys what the next step is. Alright guys, so once we boot it back up, I am in the home screen here. Uh, what you want to do is go to settings, uh, scroll all the way to the bottom. You will not find developer options. So what you need to do is go about tablet, and what we've done in the past here, go to where it says build number. Tap that numerous times until it tells you that you're now a developer, as you can see. You are now a developer. So back out of that once, one time, and here you are, developer options. Uh, go ahead and make sure that USB debugging is on and enable. 
USB debugging. Uh, let me find that. Here it is. So enable USB debugging. Okay. And so on the toolkit itself, we're going to go ahead and OEM lock the bootloader. Click on that. Also, okay. We're going to ch it's checking ADB status. Device is connected and rebooting your device into bootloader mode. All right, so what you get on the screen is your device should now be relocked. When you press OK, your device will be would back up to confirm you are relocked. Uh, look at the Google boot uh, screen while it boots back up. You should no longer see the little unlocked icon. Please press OK to continue. So press OK. Rebooting device. Uh, here's the tablet right here. Google. It should have a. Uh, I don't know if you can see my finger, but it should have a, a, a unlocked, um, kind of like a symbol of a lock, unlocked. Uh, that shows that your bootloader is either locked or unlocked. If you don't have it all together, that means you're locked. So as of right now, guys, you are completely back to stock. Uh, if you guys like the video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.